Okay, so here in question 11, we've got a table of data to work with. The managing director of an international internet communications company wishes to investigate the number of internet users and the number of mobile phone users for different countries in Eastern Europe. He wishes to identify a country with the potential to increase the number of internet users so that he can consider investing in that country. All right, so here's the table of countries that we're referring to. This has actually come from our large data set. So if you remember back to the investigations and the data handling work that we did around about the large data set, this is an extract from there. Okay, so we're told that figure 11.1 shows all the countries of Eastern Europe. In the first question, we're asked, are the countries in figure 11.1 a sample or a population? Explain your answer. Well, if we look back to the body of the original question, the managing director wants to investigate mobile phone users for different countries in Eastern Europe. So that was the field of his interest. And the list we have here is a list of all the countries of Eastern Europe. So since I'm working with all of the countries, with all of the items of interest, this is actually a population. So there's my answer. It's a population. What's the reason? Okay, it's a population simply because we have all of the Eastern European countries. The only alternative is for it to have been a sample, and a sample would have been to maybe take five European countries. A sample would have been maybe taking every other country. But here we have all of the Eastern European countries. This is indeed a population. Okay, in part two, these data have been used to construct the scatter diagram in figure 11.2. Use your knowledge of the large data set to comment on the correlation in the scatter diagram. OK, so we've been asked to use knowledge of the large data set to comment on the correlation in the scatter diagram. OK, so even without the large data set, we should be able to make some comments about what's happening with the correlation in this scatter diagram. So firstly, it seems to be showing some positive correlation. OK, and that positive correlation does match what we saw in the large data set or in the whole data set. So a positive correlation shown, which matches... So a positive correlation shown, which matches the large data set. What does positive correlation actually mean in this case? So it means that as the number of mobile phone subscribers increase, we expect the internet users to increase. OK, so firstly, I set a positive correlation. I linked that to the large data set. And then I just made a link to the context that we have in this particular question. So as the number of mobile phone subscribers increases, we expect the number of internet users to also increase. So in the next part of the question, we will ask to use the scatter diagram to identify a country that appears to have a high potential to increase their number of internet users. Give a reason for your choice. Okay, so here I've put on a line of best fit or a rough line of best fit to try and indicate where we would expect countries to be in terms of their mobile phone subscribers and their internet users. The questions specifically asked me to try and identify a country that appears to have a high potential to increase their number of internet users. All right, so internet users being on the vertical, which of these countries on the y-axis have the most potential to increase? And thinking about it like that, I can actually see is this country right here. So this country has a lot of room to improve their internet users. They have a huge amount of mobile phone subscribers, but relatively low amount of internet users. So we should be able to increase their internet users. They already have the infrastructure. They have the mobile phones. Can we get them using the internet more? There's a lot of room for this particular country to get in line with the trend that we seem to see. So which country is it? So I'm looking for a country that has 60 million mobile phone subscribers and around about seven million internet users 60 million around about 7 million that's it it's the ukraine all right ukraine okay so i've said the ukraine because they have a large amount of mobile phone users and a relatively low amount of internet users people with mobile phones which is a form of technology will probably be enthusiastic about using the internet if given the opportunity that's where i would invest so that's the suggestion that i'm making here OK, so having decided on the country he wishes to invest in, the director will select a sample of 20 marketing consultants from the country to contact for information and advice. He has found a website listing 600 marketing consultants. Give clear instructions for the director on how to select a simple random sample of 20 marketing consultants from the 600. 
Okay, so here we just need to describe a sampling technique. Let's try and make sure we get all of the nuances and all of the steps that we should go through. So, simple random sampling. Okay, so let's look for some clues in the question. The director wants to select a sample of 20 marketing consultants. He's found a website listing 600 marketing consultants. And we're definitely looking at that simple random sample. Going through all of the steps, being careful to address any nuances without leaving out any important parts of the process. Okay, so first we want to number the marketing consultants, but to be more specific, we're going to number the marketing consultants from one to 600. So next, we'll use a random number generator to select 20 numbers from one to 600. Okay, so each time a number is selected, the corresponding consultant will become part of the sample. If a number is selected a second time, it will be ignored and a new number selected in its place. A marketing consultant cannot be in the sample twice. They can only be in it once, so we'll re-pick that number. So, once 20 unique numbers have been selected, the sample is complete. And those are the steps to go through simple random sampling. Be careful not to just rush your way through a question like this. All of the specifics are going to be worth marks. I've seen people and students who have written an answer that shows five steps, but because they were so vague or general in each of those steps, they did not get the marks that they deserved. A response like the one that I've shown here will be worth all of your marks.